I like the richest videos, man. They're, they're, they're top Ever seen 10 lists off. Ever seen an love-making scene in a movie? Well, it could be the result of some stellar acting, or it could be the product of things getting a little too real on set. Halle Berry and Billy Bob Thornton. Halle Berry's Oscar-winning turn alongside Billy Bob Thornton in the 2001 critically acclaimed film Monsters Ball has been long rumored to have been inspired by some true-to-life work in front of the camera. The unrestrained intensity and undeniably awkward vibe of the mid-film love scene between the two leads spurred whispers of how much acting was actually involved. For her part, Barry didn't exactly douse the flames of the rumor when she described the scene as animalistic, and acknowledged that both had agreed to be uninhibited with their bodies. <laughs> Robert Pattinson before the Twilight series turned him into a national heartthrob, the actor best known for portraying Edward Cullen got a little too into the role of Salvador Dali in the 2008 indie flick Little Ashes. During a vivid that. masturbation scene in the film, critics and keen-eyed filmgoers noticed that Robert Pattinson's O-face looked pretty you know, authentic. He was jacking off? Pattinson admitted as much in a candid interview, talking to the fact that he was handling his business just below the camera. Wow. As he states plainly, my orgasm face is recorded for eternity. Shia LaBeouf. You. If you were offered a movie role requiring you to legitimately bed a litany of attractive young actresses, you'd probably have trouble turning down the part. So was the role posed to Shia LaBeouf by director Lars von Trier as a part of his aptly titled film. The movie yeah, okay, okay, yeah, In yeah. fact, both the lead actor and director brought major buzz to the movie's release by promoting the real sex scenes ahead of time. Since then, however, lead actress Stacey Martin has tossed some cold water on the unique marketing, saying that the realistic lovemaking scenes were actually comprised of CGI, fake vaginas, and porn doubles. Divine. Flamboyant director John Waters was no stranger to controversy during his 1970s filmmaking heyday through the production of his transgressive cult films. Waters reached his perverse, oddball peak with 1972's Pink Flamingos, starring depraved drag queen Divine. Through the direction of Waters, Divine, described as the filthiest person alive, is degraded through eating dog poop and even performing fellatio on an actor playing the role of her son. The blowjob in question is widely understood to be completely real, as confirmed by both Waters and Divine. Melvin Van Peebles Few films in this list carry the cultural significance of Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song, a 1971 black exploitation film by actor and director Melvin Van Peebles. The film was also primarily financed by Van Peebles after no studio would pick it up, and it's still considered to be the most essential work within the black exploitation subgenre. The flick features a number of unsimulated sex scenes involving Van Peebles. He has admitted as much, even acknowledging that he contracted an STD during production. Wow. Marilyn Manson wow. and Kevin Rachel Wood. The best way to kill a rumor is to deny it outright, and an unwillingness to do so can sometimes fairly or unfairly serve as a form of confirmation. So the fact that Marilyn Manson, no stranger to scandalous rumors, refuses to confirm or deny the speculation that his sex scene with Evan Rachel Wood in the music video for Heart Shaped Glasses seems awfully real would indicate some level of validation. That Wood had been engaged to Manson around the filming of the video, and the shock rocker glowed about Wood's involvement, paint a pretty compelling picture to some true-to-life bedroom hijinks taking place. Malcolm McDowell Legends about Caligula have, over time, cemented the Roman Emperor as a nefarious and debaucherous ruler known for his love of overt self-indulgence and many sexual conquests. Great actor, it's right no there. surprise then, the 1979 film about the depraved ruler would have to love up its clock with orange, sex man. He was crazy that film. With Malcolm McDowell starring in the titular role of the historical figure, the many sex scenes stood out for their raw, realistic quality that, that, too, that yeah. turned out to be entirely authentic. With scenes that included real penetration, fellatio, and ejaculation, the critics deemed the film to be worthless and trashy, but the real Caligula would likely have been proud. Julie Christie and Donald Sutherland Public fascination with the oh, did yes. they or didn't they debate over the authenticity behind famous love scenes may have started with Nick Cage's 1973 now. film. Great horror film. Now. 
Speculation about one particularly shocking scene featuring lead actors and Creepiest major book. Hollywood stars, Donald Sutherland and Julie Christie, has long stemmed from both the scene's intimate and passionate nature, not to mention the claims of a Paramount executive that allegedly watched it being filmed. The still lingering buzz around the original scenes has even spawned a remake, which is currently in pre-production. No word on mm. who will fill the scandalous shoes, though, of Sutherland and Christie. Chloe Sevigny. Few have taken oh, is that that movie Bunny, Brown Bunny? Director, quite like Vincent Gallo, who helmed the 2003 indie film The Brown Bunny. Yeah, Bunny. I heard about that Gallo one too, Gallo has yeah. lead actress Chloe Sevigny, then a relatively unknown newcomer, perform unsimulated, on-camera fellatio on Gallo himself. Adding to the creepy vibe of the already uncomfortable four-minute scene was the later admission by Gallo that he had been obsessed with Seventy long before production of the film. In Ooh. hindsight, it's hard to see the movie, one that critic Roger Ebert called the worst film in the history of Cannes, as Dang. much more than a vanity project designed to get the director some action. Notorious B.I.G. It was actually P. Diddy who let slip the dirty little secret behind the sloppy sounds on famous Notorious B.I.G.'s track, Ready to Die. Nearly 20 years after the release of Biggie's iconic album of the same name, so get rid of a post blogger sat down with Diddy and raised the question of the audio interlude on the track that certainly sounds as though someone is getting some real satisfaction. Responding to the inquiry of whether Biggie is really getting a blowjob, Diddy replied, Yeah, these are the questions that nobody's ever asked, and I think Big would be alright with it. Well, that's our list, guys. Which ones of these videos have you seen? Have you seen Oh wow, man! <laughs> yeah, oh that Biggie thing, man. Yeah, yeah. It 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 sounded like something was going on on that song, on that uh, skit. But uh, yeah, I heard about the the Caligula and the Brown Bunny film, man. I'm, I'm, I wanted to see that Brown Bunny film, man, film just to you know observe and see if it was it real or not, man. You know they they say it was real, but I, I gotta see it for myself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> But that was good, y'all. Y'all tell me what you thought about that video. Go watch the original video. Subscribe to The Richest. Uh, if you like my reaction, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and share, y'all. Until next time, I'm out.